Ladies and gentlemen, TDF interrupts this broadcast to bring you shocking news. While you're sitting at home enjoying your dinner, Brooklyn is being taken over by toys. <laughs> Toy theater, that is. From now until June 13th at St. Anne's Warehouse, you can see the 9th International Toy Theater Festival featuring tiny works of art from all over the world. And no, it's not all child's play. The festival features everything from sprightly comedies to saucy satires to poetic works like Camp, a Dutch production that delivers a miniature recreation of the concentration camp at Auschwitz. So who's behind this toy invasion? Why, it's a group of New York theater artists called Great Small Works. They're presenting their own toy theater shows in the festival, and they're hosting artists from around the world. Why look, it's Jenny Romaine and Stephen Kaplan, members of Great Small Works. Tell us, gang, what is toy theater? Well, toy theater is an archaic form of home entertainment before people had these uh, electronic boxes that sat on a, on a d table in their living room. They had these cardboard boxes that sat on the living room. And, uh, table in their living room and they did performances with these flat cut out figures they would sometimes mass produced or sometimes they'd make them themselves copied after the um, popular theater of the day artists would sit in the front rows of the theater and draw what they were seeing on the stage and then they would produce these kits you could buy a printed version of a toy theater and it was uh, penny plain and two pence colored. So if you bought it plain, you'd bring it home and you'd color it yourself. And if it was colored, you'd just cut it out and mount them. Why have you dedicated your lives to this kind of work? We're theater artists and every aspect of stagecraft gets us excited. So not only are we working graphically, but we're also thinking expressively about music and uh, dance. Because actually it's sculpture that's moving in the box. In toy theater it's very flat. But still, there's this whole element of motion and movement and music and speech and then also the visual. And I guess that's what makes puppetry endlessly compelling, is that it's the constant reshuffling of those elements. Looks to me like you're working on a piece called Toy Theater of Terror as Usual. What's it about? It's a photo montage newsreel. Just looking and realizing what the major themes of the news are now, because this is a very topical show, so there's this toxic ocean that's roiling out just just below you know the, the coast of Louisiana and there's uh, tea parties going on all over so so you so we're using all these images of teacups and tea bags uh, drone aircraft we have a whole thing about the, the drone aircrafts being um, who are being used in the battles in Southeast Asia but they're being controlled and in, uh, in these little rooms in, in Las Vegas. So what will an audience experience at a toy theater show? So what one of the amazing things about toy theater is this, even even though the scale is, is small, this shrunken down scale, it doesn't diminish the kind of emotional um, reaction to seeing a drama. So so the presence, the, the, the theatrical presence the, of performance is still there. It's just being done in this very miniature economical um, scale. Dumbo is awakening to the compressed power of the miniature. Yes. It's a takeover. And that's the scoop on the 9th International Toy Theater Festival. Go back to your dinners, ladies and gentlemen, and remember, if there's a story about the theater, TDF's gonna get it, just for you.